in our next performance set, we're going straight to the heart of the most commercial topic possible when it comes to playing cards, gambling. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, when you play cards uh, long enough, eventually somebody's going to ask you, hey, what do you know about gambling? Gambling is probably the most interesting topic when it comes to cards. Most people are interested in that sort of thing. And if I give them enough time, they'll ask me, hey, can you teach me how to cheat at cards? Now, I'm just saving you the trouble <laughs> of asking. I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'll go ahead and show you how that sort of thing would work. I'll take out the four aces, and I'll show you exactly how a gambler would stack the deck right in the middle of the game. Uh, and the stack that we'll use is what we call the overhand shuffle, just like that. Now, typically, you would only stack three cards. But if you wanted a fourth one, I'll show you exactly how that would work as well. Now, it's a formula. Let's say there was five of us playing in the game. You take two times the number of players plus one, and you run those off. That's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and you throw those on top. Now, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. One less than the number of players, that's four. One, two, three, four. Then the number of players, one, two, three, four, five. Then one, and then the number of players again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, that's all pretty simple. At that point, you have your friend cut the cards at just the right spot, and you're ready to go. I'll deal a five-hand game of poker. And as you can see, that puts the aces right in my hand. But, you know, that's only part of the game. Getting the aces in your hand is only half of the goal. <laughs> the main thing that you want to do is make sure that these guys, in this case, really getting just random cards, you want to make sure that these guys are enthusiastic enough about the game to be willing to put money into the game. So you've got to give these guys a good hand. So here's how that would happen. I'm going to put the aces down into the center of the deck, just like this. And I'll show you how to do the game in such a way that you get more money in the pot. That's the key. You first, you want to start around with the all-around square up move, and you deal yourself five hands, just like this. And we're going to see if we can get these guys to empty their wallets into the game, okay? So let's see. This guy, well, that guy's getting ready for a, for a flush. Mm -hmm. He'll probably stay in the game. Let's see. This guy, hey, this is what they call a safety razor. <laughs> that's, that's like gambling. The safety razor. You know, you give somebody two pairs, and they're bound to raise, mm -hmm. okay? Putting more money into the pot. Four twos. You know this guy's going to stay. You know this guy's going to put all his money into the game. And a pair of jacks. Now, that's not great, but he'll stay. Yeah. He'll stay, and he'll play, and, well, that's not a good start, but, well, this is draw poker. Draw poker, right? You get to, you get to, now, if we were playing draw poker here, and let's say this was your hand, and you were going for a flush. Now, what would, you'd play what? Take one? If I take one card there, get rid of that one. Hey, good job. Good job. You got a flush in hearts. Now, what, what would you do there with two pair? Two queens, two tens. You'd get rid of that one. And so, hey, you got it. You got it. Full house. Now, what would you do with this guy? If you were this guy? Get rid of that five. Get rid of that five? Well, you know, when people only take one card, a lot of times the gambler will say, well, they got such a good hand, I better deal them from the bottom. So that's another thing that you got to look for. But hey, kind of rounded that thing out, didn't you? Yeah. Four of a kind. Well, you got a pair of jacks there. What would you do? Well, I'd probably get rid of a couple there. Get rid of, get rid of these three? Okay, let's see what you do. If you draw three, that's. Oh, there you go. Hey! Oops, there it is. Hey, <laughs> check that out. Well, you know he's going to stay right. with, a, uh, with a full house there. Well, let's see. I guess I'll take one. I'll take one. You know what's amazing? As lucky as he was, it would have been better to have thrown in that one jack because he would have drawn that fourth ace. And when he got that fourth ace, not only would he have won, but he would have kept me from getting my royal flush in the ten jack, queen, king, ace, a space. Right. <laughs> I'd hate to play cards with me.
When, the, when you play poker, a lot of times like that, you know, uh, it's not just a matter of getting a good hands. There's other things. You have to control your body language. That's a really important thing because people, you can give away what you got in your hand just by the way your face looks. Uh, there's, there's been books written on this. It's called, uh, you know, they, they call it a tell. That's what they say. They say keep a poker face. So, you know, they, they don't mean don't have a face like a poker. They mean <laughs> don't express things with your face so that people can tell what you've got. Uh, I'll show you how that works, basically. Uh, pull out any card at all and show it around, and I'd like to have you pull out any card at all and show it around. Make sure that everybody knows what the card is. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you, now the important thing is to not react in any way when you see your card again. Okay, that's the most important thing. You turn your card to the deck there, and I'll give the cards a cut, and let's see, how about uh, put your card in anywhere? Right there, there we go. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you every card in the deck. Uh, let's do it one time. I'll do, I'll do you first. I'm going to riffle the cards just like this. I want you to look at every card in the deck, and I'll just watch your eyes. And the moment your pupils dilate, now be real <laughs> careful. Try not to do this intentionally, okay? I mean, try to, try to, try to fool me, right? Okay. And I'll tell you the second that you see the card that you select. I'll stop as we go through right. the deck, and I'll say, oh, that's your card. Now, do me a favor, watch okay. my eyes. Make sure that I only watch her eyes and you just watch the cards. I won't do anything but watch her eyes. And when she sees a card that she recognizes, I'll be able to spot it. But is that it? Is that your card? <laughs> is that your card right from the center of the deck? Now, you're probably thinking, now, wait a second. Now, you know the card's in there somewhere. I'll try the same thing with you. Now, watch what I do. Watch my eyes. You watch my eyes. You watch the deck. Make sure that I, I'll never look at the cards at all. All I'll do is just riffle the edges, watching for her poker tail, and I'll be able to tell just from the dilation of her eyes. Is that it? Is that your card? Right out of the center of the deck? I don't even have to know what the card is. You know, pull it straight out from the center of the deck. So listen, when you play poker, be sure to be careful. You get poker face. You watch them in the eyes. That's how you tell. Okay, you know.